my name is Gozi Ochanago. I'm creative director of Yumi Wan. Thank you for watching our film for the collection Blood and Belief, which illuminates the ongoing conflict between the Nigerian pastoral holders and farmers. I wanted to tell this story through dance because of the expressive nature of the art form. I love Aikido, a Japanese art form, which is much like a dance. It practices defending oneself while protecting the attacker from injury. I wanted to communicate the emotions of the two sides. I saw two groups of people wanting the same thing, to survive, to feed their families and sustain their, their livelihoods. To me, they were both saying, I am angry, I'm frustrated, I feel despair and I am not heard. I wanted the emotions to be what you took away from this film because really that's what makes us human and that's what connects us all. My name is Sarah Golding and I am the choreographer of Blood and Belief. Initially, I received a message from Gozi on Instagram and she briefly told me uh, what the project was about. Following that, we then had emails and conversations you know, about the project and it was then I realised actually how important this is and how important it was that I was a part of it being of Nigerian heritage. It really allowed me the time and space to do the research about the conflict between the farmers and herders. I wanted to work with a female choreographer because in conflicts, uh, women are, are never heard and it is us who lose husbands um, as well as children. Another really important part of the process for me was understanding a little bit about Koroso dance, which is traditional dance of the Fulani people, which is where the herdsmen come from. It's a lot about steps, which I love. I love understanding steps and rhythms. And I was just watching videos and then learning the steps for myself and then putting the steps into a formation and into a way that I felt had my own spin. So I, it wasn't just about cutting and pasting these movements and putting them into the work. It was about me understanding them, physicalizing them, giving them the energy they needed to represent this story and then allowing the dancers to physicalize them. The team was absolutely amazing, working with Joey, Callum, Ben and Jacob, such incredible dancers. And they just completely embodied the styles of movement I was throwing at them, they were so open to trying my crazy ideas and so open to throwing them away when they didn't work. It was very difficult trying to shoot a film during a pandemic, but Sarah had worked with three of the four dancers before and I completely trusted her. Obviously in fashion shows we see the items of clothes on the body and how they fall um, but they just move in such a different way when the body's dancing and I think that just adds another layer. It is a Nigerian story told by a diverse mix of uh, dancers which uh, really embodies uh, Yumi Mwan's ethos that we are one. While it might seem like a local conflict, climate change is the reason why the herders move down south quicker than they usually do and as population explodes they come into conflict with the farmers. We've seen like the forest fires in Australia, we've seen flooding in different countries, even, in the, in, even here in the UK. But because their infrastructures are still intact, you've not seen that social aspect of, you know, human beings turning on each other. The film explores our innate feral nature, but within it, you see beautiful moments of our humanity. I'm super excited to see the final work. At this stage, I haven't seen the final film yet, so... Yeah, I'm really, really excited to see the final edit and um, I really hope you enjoy it. And thanks for watching. This is my first film and I just want to say a big thank you to the team. Do check out their Instagram pages and their websites because they truly are awesome. Thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.